Question number eight, Sue Moroney. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Immigration. Does he agree with the statement made by the Honourable Michael Woodhouse in Parliament last week with regard to Chinese engineers repairing Kiwi Rail trains that the Minister of Immigration, quote, is very satisfied that the Chinese workers in this instance were on short-term visas and these were generally for no more than three months per year, end quote. Okay. The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Yes, I am satisfied that the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety articulated my advice to him accurately. However, I have since been advised that some of these workers were provided, as an exception to instructions, a subsequent visa for another 90 days. I'm comfortable with the original visas being granted. Order. Is that a supplementary or would you like to hear the primary first? I'm Order. comfortable. Order. I am not putting up with that level of interjection. I want to hear the answer. I'm comfortable that the original visas, uh, with the original Order. visas being granted, but given these visas are for projects of a very specific and temporary nature, I have made it clear to my officials that they should not be granting any further subsequent visas for those in New Zealand unless there were truly exceptional circumstances. Supplementary question, Sue Maroney. Well, is he aware that the New Zealand-China Free Trade Agreement stipulates that the duration stay of people doing this type of work shall not exceed three months. And therefore, how does he justify the decision that he has made? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I don't have the uh, full details of the arrangements that the member specifies. I'm quite happy to take advice on it. Order. I am advised that special purpose visas are for that purpose and I have made my expectations very clear to immigration officials. Supplementary question, Sue Maroney. Well, in granting these visas, as the Minister for Immigration, is he aware that the New Zealand-China Free Trade Agreement stipulates that the granting of temporary employment visas does not replace the requirements to carry out an activity according to the specific laws and regulations in force in the country? And how does this reconcile with the views of the Minister of Workplace Relations, Michael Woodhouse, that New Zealand's employment laws probably don't apply to these very Chinese engineers that he has, he has granted these visas to. Hon Honourable Michael Woodhouse, I've got those Speaker, two supplementary. I refer the member to my answer to her previous supplementary question. Supp supplementary question, Sue Maroney. Supplementary? He's stuffed up. As the Minister for Immigration, who ought to know the rules under which he, Order, has, ask the question, he has granted these visas, will he revoke the work visas of the Chinese engineers, given their employer is in breach of New Zealand laws requiring employers to provide wage and time records, and that the workers in question have been here longer than allowed under the provision he granted them visas for? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I reject the prefacing statement in that comment that these members uh, that these workers were employed in breach of New Zealand employment laws. The Labour Inspectorate, on their best advice, did not find that to be the case. Question, question number nine, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question...